He was great. Uh, man, I wish you could have picked up that ground ball. He was, I walked by him, and he's in the video room watching it. I was like, you're going to have a hard time letting that one go, aren't you? He was outstanding. I mean, uh, good mix. Slider was really good. And mixed in a curveball later on. Uh, I, the time he reached back for 98 and kind of fired it by Buster, like, I just, like, kind of out of nowhere, he's been pitching it two to four kind of the whole day, and he reaches back for 98. Uh, uh, he was great. Swung the bat. Uh, you know, drove in a run. Had two hits on base three times. I think by the end of it, he was like gassed. Uh, he gave us everything he had, and he was outstanding. I mean, he had five base runners in the first few innings. Got off the hook each time. Was his escapability something that was was you know something that did he get him going later on in the game? Yeah, it's part of his mo. I mean, that's that's kind of who he's always been. Uh, uh, there's always been traffic on the bases to some degree, but he has a great ability to get out of that a lot of times. And for me, he was uh, lights out today. Uh, you hate to see it end to the way it did, to where he's coming out after a home run, giving up the one hit. Uh, but he was—he gave us an opportunity to win a game, uh, sweep a series. He was exactly what we needed. How much did the guys in the dugout enjoy what he was doing, given how many guys knew, knew him from previous stops? Well, everybody loved it. I mean, everybody just as a team. Like, he comes in, he's one of us, and uh, – I just got texts in my office about so glad you guys got him from other guys in the game that have played saying what an amazing guy he is. Uh, he's going to be huge for your club. And uh, it's not just like the guys in here. Like he has a great uh, reputation throughout the game of baseball. So to bring him in, have him pitch like that, be a part of it. I, I, he executed with Christian Bethencourt very, very well today. I think they did a great job. We were discussing over the last couple of days about the veteran presence that he brings to young rotation. In one start, do you feel that he was able to accomplish that and sort of gain the attention of these young guys and just establish himself within just one day? I think guys respect what he's accomplished in the game. I don't think he had to have a great start today for that to be uh, be the case. I think in time, uh, when he has the opportunity to kind of forge deeper relationships with the guys that are in the rotation, I think he's going to have a greater impact. Uh, I don't think it's just by the way he throws the baseball. I think it's by the way he goes about his business. I think it's about the way he goes uh, about everything he does every single day, from even his batting practice all the way through to the finer points of the game, to bunting and uh, executing pitches, throwing his bullpen. I think he'll be a, a very positive influence. Uh, you got hands. Booster and Maurer have – uh, sub two ERA dating back to June 16th. How nice is it to have that at the back end of your bullpen? Yeah, uh, preferred not to use them today, uh, but it was kind of necessary at that point in time. Uh, and they all were great. They all were still very sharp on the third day of work. And Brad Hand is one of the most has one of the most resilient arms uh, I've ever been around. So uh, no issue with him. No, all three guys when I checked in with them early in the day, they all felt great, ready to go. I think the break refreshed them, and uh, their stuff was very crisp. How different is your club than it was when the Giants beat you here in Philly to open the season? Uh, I think we've grown. I think you look at it and the quality of the at-bats against Cueto. Like, hey, you watch Will uh, work a walk and celebrate it like he hit a home run. I mean, he was fired up about that walk because uh, he made a great pitcher work. We weren't necessarily doing that early in the year. I think we'd run his pitch count up and – five plus innings to a level it wasn't in nine innings the previous games uh alex dickerson's at bat comes to mind where he just fouled pitch after pitch after pitch off before he eventually got on base uh those at bats getting those base runners gives you an opportunity to get a guy like him out of the game and uh you usually beat the bullpen more than you beat him but we had much better at bats uh, i think we run the bases more aggressively dickerson going first to third those kind of things are setting us up to score more runs it's every 90 feet we take advantage of it has an impact on the game With regard to the the first sweep for you guys, I mean, how, what a great feeling that is for you guys to finally get this. Yeah, it's a good win today. I, I, I've never made much out of a particular game or a particular series, but uh, it's it's obviously the way you want to start off the second half. Uh, we're playing solid baseball. There's things we can still improve on, and I think we'll continue to work on those things. And to go through Bumgarner, Camargo, and Cueto, so like those are three of the top pitchers in the National League, not just the National League, the All Star. What does it say about your club and the way that you're you know going to approach this second half to beat those three guys consecutively? Hey, we're just going to compete every day out. Uh, I'm not concerned about what it says about our club. I'll let you guys take care of what it says about our club. Uh, I just want to see our guys go out every day, enjoy playing the game of baseball, play with passion and intelligence. And if we do that, like good things are going to happen for us.